All right, this is Roger Scott, and I'm second. I'm doing my second of three videos. These this three part video series is on trading pullbacks objectively while looking at nothing but price data. So let me give you some information that'll help you. And again, I closed my screen without trying to. So let's see if I can go back and show you this the right way. Let's look at Citigroup. And again, the question is, how do you determine these low risk pullback opportunities? All right. How does it work? How do you determine this? How do you determine this? How do you determine this? And again, objectively without any technical indicators. All right. So here's what I'm going to tell you. First, there's, there's two steps here. First, we have to identify the main trend and make sure that the main trend is moving in the direction that we're going to take a trade. So if the main trend is up, we're only going to take trades to the upside. If the main trend was down like this, then we would wait for a pullback and we would take a trade here on the way down. We're not doing that. We're only going to take trades on the way up. So what I've done, and this is very important information and you're not going to learn this anywhere else. No one's going to tell you their back test studies, but I've tested stocks for over 50, no, 40 years, going back 40 years. And here's what I could tell you based on these tests. And I'm just going to draw on this, on this, uh, on this graph here. So 30 day breakouts equal 30% accuracy. All right. 50 day breakouts equal 50% accuracy. 90 day breakouts give you 65% accuracy. Now, here's the interesting part. If you go beyond 90 day breakouts, your accuracy is actually going to go down. It's not going to go up. All right. So with that in mind, we only want to trade breakouts that are on the 90 day level. If they're not on the 90 day level, we don't want to trade. Them. In other words, we want to find breakouts that are breaking 90 day highs. We want to make sure the trend is strong and that the odds of the trend resuming in the direction of the trend is a very high probability. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to gauge two week lows. We want to make sure that this pivot point occurs at a two week low, and then we want to see some upside. So we want to see the low, make a low, 10 day low, and then we want to see it close above the previous high. All right. So what I do for this is I don't use my eyes. I use a very, very simple system. And I call it 90-10. And if you look at Citibank, we're looking at Citibank right now, it made a 90 day high. Let me show you this chart here. It made a 90 day high right here. And it made a 10 day low right here and it turned around. All right. So let me pull up, make this chart a little bigger so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Right here. That's the 10 day high, 90 day high, excuse me. That's the 90 day high. And that's the 10 day low. You may be hearing some barking in the background. I have a dog, a young puppy in the back and uh, he, he just barks all the time. I do apologize for that. So how do we do this mechanically? Well, we could set up a real simple system. We can set up a system that'll tell the computer to gauge 90 day highs followed by 10 days low with a high closing at a certain range. And actually, 
That's exactly what we did right here. Let me show you. That's what, that's what this code is right here. And if you're interested in this code, just send me an email. Send me an email to support at marketgeeks.com and I'll send you the code and you can use it for stock fetcher. So in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how it all works together, how the 10, 90 day high and the 10 day low work out and how the trades work out from them. So let's now move on to the third of our three part video series. Okay.